Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where we are in the middle of trying to save Oriana, who is no longer a child. That is not worth it. Time my shots. Explosive container. Nope. I hate you sometimes. Been spotted. Ah. Is this ex nope, okay. Good, not explosive. Give me your shield. Oh. Where are we at? Come on. Oh god, oh no, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Watch for the drone! Not gonna work. I'm trying to hit that explosive container. What? I'm like, I'm like having trouble. Okay, here we go. I'm like having trouble controlling it though. Like, it's like twitching all of a sudden. Shepard. You didn't do it, Shepard! Oh, but I do have, for some reason, I have uh, incendiary on. I guess it's alright. I need a medic! I need a medic! I'm die. Haha! Took down your shields in one blow, guys! Can't handle this! Can't handle this! Like, yeah, Shepard's like leaning over to the right. It's or like her shots are. <laughs> so much fire everywhere. You think we don't already have access to your stuff? To your radios? That was a silly mistake. Oh, hey, you flying explosives! Saw something. That's it. Submachine gun scan. This might be yes. useful. Yes. I knew there was something. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. No, no, Shepard. Oh boy. Come on, Morden. Okay. To play with uh, the eviscerator. Oh. Interesting, it's a more direct focus shot. I like it. And it does work from a further distance. I like that. Just looking to help. Indeed. Uh, let's put incinerator or the cold one on this one. I'm not designed for specialized ammunition. Uh -huh. Not designed for specialized ammunition. Nicely done. Wow. Locker, I got money. I like this shotgun though. Where are the heavies coming from? 
from? Uh, there you are. I see you, heavy. Give me your shields. Oh, that didn't work. Did it work? Uh, I don't think it did. Holy crap. Yeah! That worked! Part of the shields. You can be exploded. If more than well, that might actually work. I can't tell. I have a difficult time telling. Um, where's the other guy? There you are. He's like the leader. Well, he's like an engineer. They're a pain in the butt. Ah! Wait, I was standing down. Downwind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There you are. I wonder, can I get? I can. Yeah. There we go. All right. Good work. Good work. Give, give me that. Uh -huh. Give me something. You can use this. Raise your capacity. There's always stuff. There's always stuff in the little nooks and crannies. Uh, fine. I play this game. This is like, like very kind of small amounts of money. It's like this is supposed. The game's like you were supposed to do this earlier in the game. I'm like, hey man. Other things came up, you know. I really like the design. Like, oh my gosh, I did not see you. How do, why? Why do you get the why? Oh, wait, come here. Whoa! Whoa! What did I do? That should no- Oh my god! This is like the best glitch I've ever seen in this game! Wow! It like- It was like the slow motion, right? That I have, but then like all of a sudden it just like stopped. And technically, this person wasn't dead, but- Oh my gosh! awesome oh my gosh that was cool that was that was awesome i wonder if it was because i started to like everyone except my guard from the cat i'll handle him and the kid personally Damn, not letting him get i wonder if it was what i did or <laughs> actually yeah i guess Gotta get rid of the mechs, they're the most annoying. shields down.
right, and then there's those things that will explode. All right, time to move over. Obvious. It's like next to a door, I think, right before things really go down. Refined element zero. Oh, wow. Oh, I think that's the progression. We don't want to go over there yet. Shoot, I think they came out. Not yet. I think I remember getting confused here at one point. I was like, where's all the people we're supposed to be fighting? And then I didn't realize I had to go all the way over there. Over there. Eh? Eh? Oh, it's just money. I don't care. I'm mostly picking up the upgrades I want now, and I've mostly bought the ones I want, so. No. I like the details in these areas. Like, it's like, oh, it's just another manufacturing plant and a shooter. I'm like, yeah, but it's a space one, and it's cool looking. Eclipse operatives have attempted to delay you by disabling the elevators. I am overriding. Thank you, Edie. Here you go. Ah, Excellent. They are swearing at me. I did not realize. Yeah, take that, you did. Oh boy. Oh boy, it's Vanguard! I'll tear you apart. Get ready to go! Watch for the drone! Yeah, you go in. Give me. 
Maybe the Ooh. captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. That would only work to like mess with your or maybe head. Maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't this thing go any faster? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on These me. These are unhappy away. questions I have to I'm ask. Sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? We won't know anything until we find Niket. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Yeah, I bet you will. I still can't believe I did that renegade action earlier. Listen to me. I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Uh-oh. Mary, this should be fun. <laughs> oh, Niket. I think he was supposed to you say something. Me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. What do you mean, wealth and happiness? That was the exact same life Miranda had, and she obviously didn't like it either. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. And you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty, but kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? Hey, I gave her good armor. You don't even know, man. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. But will she be happy? I don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Mary. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? Uh, well, let's just... How did Miranda's father turn? They told me... I told them. Why didn't you call I me? I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister. How much Mary. did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money. Don't get holy with me, Mary. You took his money for years. She didn't have any choice. If you're working for Miranda's father, that means he knows about Oriana. We need to find a new solution. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Mary, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Ah, ah! Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Let me both look I'll, at him. I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <gasps> Done. Now, if you don't did mind, did she kill him? Shipment to deliver. I think she did. You'll die for that, 
bitch. Yeah, she's got pretty bad antibiotics for a human. On our right. You were not expecting that, were you? Did you really- Game, really? You put me in like the worst position. What is that over there? Oh, that's her. I remember this. This is a horrible fight because you freaking- I don't even- There's like one go. person over there. Uh, we need to take care of that person! Who is that lady? We get, can I charge her? No? Okay. Okay. Time now. I basically took him everywhere, so. Who's doing up on our left? Freaking heck, man. Is that Enya? It is Enyala. Of course it's Enyala. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess I'll take care of this one. These ones over here. Right. Okay, there we go. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to distract you from your fight over there. Watch the fire! Systems. That sounded like such a nerdy thing to say. Take that! Hey, wait, what is it? There could be more eclipse marks near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get this. Of course. We've taken care of the problems. I'm sorry, Niket didn't make it. I didn't think he- I forgot he died. Pretty sure anyway, I guess, that he's dead. Look over there. We came out of that elevator. Right? Yeah. And then I think the little data pad we need's over there. Trinket! This locker has a picture of an Asari and a human man. It doesn't look expensive, but likely holds sentimental value. Anything else? Anything else you're hiding from me? Oh, hey, secure terminal. Thanks! I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch, 
You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except the cat. Weakness on my part? You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. I don't know if that's mean or not. I don't know. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> But see, this is good. That it took this hardship to, for her to realize finally that she is her own person. That's what her mission is about. Is about her finding that she's not what her father made her. It's not. She's not just about the, her father or her upgrades. Like she's her own person. You know. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her. But yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. You're welcome. Whew. It's a good one. I like Miranda's. You see her at her most vulnerable, but you also see that she's got... She's... No sign of eclipse. Not an ice it queen. Like she's got a core of steel, you know? There she is. She's safe. With her family. I wasn't sure at this time if she'd ever actually spoken on, to her. We should go. But I guess she hasn't. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want. It's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. No! She doesn't need any details, but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister? Shepard doesn't have any siblings, you know? I guess not. Oh, look at that face! <laughs> Makes me want to cry. We'll wait here. <laughs> We're just standing back there. And Morton and I are like, yeah, hey, there goes our girl. I'm kind of surprised her if they haven't met before if her sister would just take it at face value but they are supposed to be genetic twins and they probably look exactly the same I don't see it but yeah it's me it's also you're, it's not just genetics it's your life experience that will it kind of messes not messes it, it shapes you physiologically just a little bit you know not a huge deal but Location redacted. Mother's new job pays well. Enough to ensure comfort and ease. Keep, will keep Oriana under observation for her safety only. Miranda Lawson is too valuable to Cerberus, and Oriana's well-being is the easiest means of procuring loyalty. Miranda remains loyal to Cerberus, and now trust Shepard. You should be worried. You should be worried, elusive man. I'm taking out all your operatives. By making them love me. <laughs> Aw, my doggy's in the room. Hi, doggy. He's sleeping. His new medicine seems to be working pretty well, but it makes him very tired. Who knows what's out there in the galaxy? Tons of little flags with missions for me to do. That's what's out there. Bye, Tinder. Alrighty. So we had ourselves a good drink, and now we're headed out. Let's go. I thought we kind of end up at the ship, but I think it's one of those times where you don't, one of the few times where you don't end up in the ship, actually. I guess because you can, there's a lot to do on Ilium, and you're like, ah, I don't want to freaking go back on a ship, you know? Sometimes it's annoying when they put you back on, and you're like, but I had other things to do on that planet. All right. Let's do it. Do it. At least, the, even if those guys suck... It's like, at least they put something up there that made it move a little bit, I guess. There we go. Oh, hey, and I have your, uh, your trinket. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh. Steven. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. This is like, I don't know, like that's really touching to me that, I don't know. I mean, I guess it's probably because I'm a human, but it's like, it's one of those times where in a sorry female, where you get, you know, actual like, oh look, they were in, like, they were bond mates. They weren't just like sex friends, you know? And, and it's, it's, see, it's seeing the Asari deal with, even just a small amount, dealing with the short lived, like, short lifespans of the other races. It's like, I can see why you'd want to have another Asari as a bond mate, because, like, they will live long and they will be with you, like, until the day you both die, you know? Like, for a millennia, you know? But everybody else, like, like a, I bet you, okay, I think the average lifespan's gone up for humans. It's maybe 120 years at this point. Maybe. You know what I mean? I mean, I think um, Miranda's super genetically enhanced, I guess, and her, her lifespan is twice as long, maybe three times as long as the average human. So she may live to be just under 200. But that's, like, abnormal So for, for humans. So, like... And, I mean, Solarians, like, the longest-lived one is, like, 50 years old, and the only other species that's long-lived is the Krogan, and it's not very often, I think. Well, it probably is more often than you think, but I, I have, I kind of have a hard time seeing an Asari matriarch being with a Krogan, just because their lifestyles are so, mentalities and stuff, cultures are so different, but it's obviously worked in some cases where you get some really hard-bitten commando women who are, like, really into the Krogan. Like into their Krogan bond mate, but obviously the only one of the only scenarios we have of that is one where they ended up killing each other. So that's cool. Uh, I just like the little touches like that in the game. I think in any other game it might seem very, or in a lot of other games it would seem token. You know, it'd be like, oh, here's another fetch quest. But in this, like. It's like little snapshots of people's lives and of the galactic culture at large, and and I like it. It takes a lot of skill to write something so small, you know, such an insignificant seeming little interaction and actually make it significant in a way. So just making it feel like a fetch quest. Now it's not like you get the fetch quest beforehand, you know, you have to actually find the object before you can return it to somebody, you know? Shut up, game. No decent galactic gang services. They have shattered romance. You need to talk to people. Oh, don't tell me how to live my life. Oh, yeah. Commander, you've received a new message at uh, your private terminal. I'm sure I have. Don't worry, Morden. We'll do yours soon. Weapon upgrade. Sure. Yeah, submachine gun damage. Excellent. Ugh. Wait, no. Uh, armor upgrade? Medjug Basidae! Hallelujah! Okay, that's all good. I mean, I guess I could make one of these. And then I can get that achievement with killing something from... I think the M920 cane I could use, but the avalanche I could not figure out. Maybe it's the same way as the arc reactor. You just gotta hold the trigger down. Uh, I don't know. It's the cheaper one. Oh, I'll worry about it later. Okie dokie. Alright, let's go poke Miranda. Also, we should maybe go feed my fish. No messages for you, Commander. There is actually. We'll go feed my fish first. Maybe we'll stop at the Citadel really quick and. Of course, I might have Garrus's mission up next, so. I might have Morden's up next, actually. Wait, let's see, where's the Kodiak? They rearranged. They rearranged them. That's not a Kodiak. Where did Kodiak at? <gasps> oh, I forgot to mention it or freaking see the picture. 
that's facing down now. I'm pretty sure if, well, I would assume that if you didn't romance anybody, that picture would stay up. But the fact that I have started a new romance, this is actually one of my favorite touches in this game, is that, just that picture being face down right there. Favorite touch because it's there in the first place, being up, and then it's my favorite touch because I don't imagine Shepard being angry. I just think one day she was sitting at her desk and was looking at that photograph, and thinking about all the events that have happened up to this point, and just like kind of like with a smile, like a sad smile, but like not like really, just like kind of like even just like an accepting smile, you know, just kind of gently places it down. She's accepted now. Like, she's not, you know, like, going all crazy about Thane, but she's moved past Caden officially and kind of past that hurt and stuff and is beginning to look forward. You know what I mean? So, and I like that it's not gone. It's not completely gone. It's not like it's thrown across the room. It's not like it disappeared randomly. Like, she threw it away. She still has, she still cares about Caden as a person and respects him as a person. He, and it respects their past together, so she just lays it gently down as a reminder that she's moving on. So that's that's how I interpret it anyway. Thank you. From Leslie. I am Les oh, I was on A, the food baby sick, the doctors are helping me now. One doctor knows Jacob. He says he can tell you this. He could write this for me, but I want to do it. I need to use my words. My words are coming back. I can talk well. Reading is hard, but I'm getting better. I have to get better. Taylor wanted me like this. He wanted my words gone. I have to show him that he lost. I am not weak. He did things to me, and he can't now. He can't take away my words. He can't make me not me anymore because you and Jacob stopped him. Thank you, Leslie. You are so welcome, Leslie. I kind of feel like it would be, like, I don't know, I feel like Shepard would kind of keep tabs on these people. You know, just a little, maybe not all of them. And sometimes you get ones you're like, oh, like, I vaguely remember that. I'm glad I was able to affect your life in a positive way, you know. But this one is very, I think Shepard would maybe keep track. Just a little, just a, not like a lot. Just like, it, it, she would appreciate that message, I think. In a very good way. The Kodiak isn't up here. Normandy SR1, SR2, Turian Frigate, Sovereign, SR Dreadnought, Alliance Frigate, no, Dreadnought, oh, yeah. Geth. Is that the Kodiak up there? Boop, top of my head. It looks really weird. I don't think it is. Fishies! Oh, these ones are cool. I will feed you, fishies. I will feed you. Um, Miranda. Yeah, if we were doing this totally in order of people that I was like, my, were my super favorite, Miranda and Jacob, while cool, would be at the bottom of the list. That's the thing, it's not like a, I don't have like a, I don't have any character that I hate in these games. I don't really like Ashley, but the more I see of her, especially in little bits and pieces I've seen of her in Mass Effect 3, I'm like, eh, maybe someday I'll let her live. <laughs> I like almost went into life support and then I was like, wait, no, there was something else I was supposed to be doing. Hey, Miranda. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. Whew. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe. Comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Yeah. Are you happy about your sister's relocation? She has what I wanted her to have. A normal life, and the freedom to choose her own path. And she knows she has an older sister. A friend. No. Are you gonna talk to her again? <laughs> I 
I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new home. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. She wants to work in colony development. Told a joke about it. She's really funny. Something we don't share. Well, that does... They, the twin thing is like... You know, there's studies and stuff of twins that have grown up separately. And it's interesting because a lot of times they do end up being in like the same... Um, like job vocations and stuff. And they have very similar interests. And so that kind of ties with it genetically. But it also... They have some things that are different, you know, and so it just it a lot of it's a lot of nature versus nurture type thing, you know. I think Shepard maybe feels like a little bit jealous. Like I never really thought about it, but like Shepard is taking all this time to help everybody else with their personal issues, but like she doesn't really. She came back from the dead, you know. Like I mean, my Shepard doesn't. I wonder if it'd be different if you had parents. My Shepard's an orphan. She was Earthborn. Um, and I know in Mass Effect 3 there's like some sort of scene where like you can meet your mom or something which is just so weird to me because for me, for my shepherd Anderson is her dad basically he's her, he's her foster dad basically, you know, so but she's like, I don't even think she's like thinks about it really except for that one moment with Liara where she was like you know, come back soon or something, you know, which we should go visit her sometime soon, but did not realize Shepard's, my Shepard is just so selfless, like, you know, like, in a way. Like, and it sounds cheesy, but it's like, she just gives so much of herself, and that's why I liked my eventual ending for Mass Effect 3. I thought it, I thought it fit very well for her. Let me know if I can do anything else. I think I got it from here. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Everybody's smiles are a little bit weird. Hee <laughs> hee. Can we talk again? Okay. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Okay. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Of course, of course. But now we can come in and talk to these guys. Let's go, Pope Dane! Do you need something? Uh, hi! I have a few minutes to talk? You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Seahawk, but any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry. And you, you are well? <laughs> no need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many this years is what since I, do. I could relax anywhere. Ah, uh, this is what I do. I go, because otherwise if I don't poke everybody ever, ever so often, I feel like they think I'm ignoring them. <laughs> Even if I have to do repeat conversations. But... Especially with my love interest, like, yeah. I spent two years dead. Every moment seems irreplaceable now. I spent ten years dead. I understand the feeling. Strange that I should only reawaken now, when there is so little time left. Don't think like that. Don't think like that, my love. Bye. I just want to keep talking to him. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. He's just gorgeous inside and out. Kasumi, you're all... Hey, Shepard. You don't blend into the couch anymore. I have to admit, Thane has a certain <laughs> mystique. He's not my type, but I get it. <laughs> he really likes you, though. <laughs> Those big black eyes of his go a flutter when he talks about you. What? <laughs> I would never heard her say anything about Thane. I was kind of hoping she would. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Oh, that was cute. His big black eyes go a flutter. I know she's like exaggerating, but still, 
<laughs> that was adorable. Okay, let's go poke Joker. See if he's got anything to say. Oh man, it's late. I've been playing the game for too long. Got a lot to do tonight and not a lot of time to do it. That's okay though. I've been looking forward to playing this again, especially with all the DLC and stuff. All the new DLC. No messages for you. I literally am not a, I'm not I was not a fan, a proponent of Shepard walking around in formal wear all the time. But freaking heck man, she doesn't get to wear anything like this ever again. <laughs> So, yeah, we're gonna wear it. So, Commander, you figure Miranda would ever lighten up a bit and... No, I can't even finish saying it. Look <laughs> at the close-up, she's like, Joker. <laughs> He's like, I, I know, I know. <laughs> I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I think I poked him after my mission with Thane, and he didn't say anything. Pretty sure. Maybe he did. I just don't remember. Because I'm a horrible friend. Oh my gosh. Mm, no, okay, I'm going to bed. <laughs> not going to do anything. Not going to be productive. Not going to do anything. Oh, today was a hard day at work, though. I had a massive bruise in the back of my leg, and there were mosquitoes, and I had to walk uphill both ways. <laughs> eh. That's what I do. It's what I live for. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you guys again for joining me. I will see you in the next one.